What's going on guys? So today's video, let's talk about the brand of Ralph Lauren. This one is... I don't know how to take it, because today we're going to be talking about Ralph Lauren Polo Double Black, which was launched in 2006 and is classed as a woody spicy. The note breakdown for this one here, top notes going to be mango and black pepper, or just pepper, with the mid being Indonesian nutmeg and roasted coffee, and the base is going to be uh, woods, cardamom, but also juniper berries. What do I get from this fragrance here? I've been wearing this one like years ago, like here and there, and I've worn it for the last four days. This opens up with pepper and a really nice mango note. That mango note does give it a little bit of a twist, a little bit of uniqueness, I should say. Mango, really nice, but the mango kinda, kinda reminds you of a sugary mango, like a dried sugary mango that you would get at one of those Caribbean stores. You know, I, I, I hang out with a lot of Caribbean people and every now and then when I go to a West Indian uh, grocery store, that's what I, that's what it reminds me of. The mango itself, really nice. But as the dry down does proceed, you're gonna get a little bit of that uh, that Indonesian nutmeg, or just nutmeg if you ask me, with a little bit, maybe, maybe not even, maybe more of a faint roasted coffee. Then the dry down itself is still mango, some spices, and woods. I was expecting more coffee than anything. Mango and coffee. It was going to be such an interesting fragrance that I'm kind of disappointed because the coffee in this is not really there. Not on my skin. It's very faint if it's there. So this fragrance here is more misleading than anything. It's just sweet, fruity, spicy, and woody. There's not a lot of coffee on my skin. Even the wife has tried smelling it on a few occasions and she just couldn't get the coffee. The wife does like it. She gets the mango and the spices, and she does like it actually quite a bit. Versatility, it's not a bad fragrance. I think it's more of an everyday scent that you could wear to school, but also to work, or even on a casual night out. This is a fall all the way to spring fragrance. I think that you can wear this in the middle of May, and it's not gonna be over cloying. The spices in this, yeah, it's very warm, it's very inviting, but because of that mango, it has that tropicalness, I do think that you can wear it on like, a semi-hot, not, not overly hot, but like a semi-hot spring day. Longevity, six to seven hours projection was more so mild to moderate. Price tag, I've seen this anywhere from 45 to $75 Canadian. So in the end, do I like it? Yeah, but I'm disappointed. I just, I was expecting mango with coffee. It's just mango, warm spices with woods. I don't know, like maybe it's just my skin. Other people itself have stated that the coffee is not very pronounced. I wish that Ralph Lauren would reformulate this one and add extra coffee to it. I think that that I think that, that would make this fragrance way better. But in the end, I do like it. And I do think that it's a fragrance that you guys should check out as well. So guys, if you like this very video, please make sure to give me one of these as I really would appreciate it. What videos to watch next? Why don't you check out this side here and any other reviews that I've done from this brand, they will all be down in the description box below. I thank you for your time, take care, and I will see you later. Thanks for watching, everyone.